chapter 2, lesson 2, is about multiples. So here, this is when it's really important that we know our finger counting. Okay, so um, when the kids are taught multiples, uh, in the book, the smallest multiple of a number is the number itself. However, there are schools that will teach students where the smallest multiple of a number will always be zero. Okay, so in this program, we will follow what the book teaches. However, if the schools that your kids go to teaches them to start with zero as the smallest multiple, then you have to teach them or kids, you have to do the problems as such. Okay, so um, again, finger count is important. So the problems that we will be doing comes from page 44 and 46. Okay. Okay, so the first problem says list the first five multiples of two. So again, if we follow the book, the first multiple of two is two itself. So that would mean four, six, eight, and 10. But if the school teaches that zero is the first multiple, then that means it's zero, two, four, six, and eight. So again, the program will follow the book. Okay, so for seven, again, that would be your multiples of seven will be starting counting with seven. So seven, 14, 21, 28, and 35. So that's when the finger counting is important. Okay, so in problem number three, the question says, is 62 a multiple of eight? And if you run and count through 8, you will know that 64, 62 is not, but 64 is. So that means 62 is not a multiple of 8. Okay, and finally, this is from page 46. It says, list the first 6 multiples of 4. Okay, so if we list, that would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay, the first six multiples of 6 will be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. Okay, then it asks what are the common multiples. So the common multiples are the ones that are the same. So there's the 12 and there's the 24. So if we follow schools where zero is the smallest multiple, then that means zero would have been the common multiple as well as the 12. And it won't reach to the last numbers here. So those, that means there's still two multiple, common multiples. So, but for our case, the common multiples will be 12 and 24. So again, we need to know our multiplication tables well. So keep practicing. If you are finding these lessons a little bit difficult because it's new, we have answer keys to all the problems in both the people book and the workbook. So again, you can only be proficient in these lessons if you keep doing. So my suggestion is review those as well. So that concludes the lesson, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.